Today, we're going to talk about the power of not letting anyone put you into their emotional prison. Wow, what a topic. When someone tries to put you into their emotional prison, it's basically what they're using is the spirit of manipulation. They're trying to manipulate your actions. They're trying to manipulate what you do. How does people do that? Whenever you don't try to help them, whenever they need help and you're doing something, they try to make you feel bad that you don't help them. Um, whenever they need to talk to you and you can't talk to them right then and there, they try to tell everybody that you're not any good because you don't listen to them. You never helped them. You never did anything. So all about manipulation. Whenever you try to, to give them something or to help them out of a situation, they no longer want you to help them out of it. They want you you to help them in such a way that they stay in it. They want to have a problem and they want to be able to gripe about it. They don't want to fix the problem. So therefore, they want that emotion, the negative emotions to always be there. And they want to keep you into that emotional prison. And they just want to keep you trapped there. They guilt you. When you're trying to achieve things, oh, you don't want to spend enough time with me. Oh, you don't have any time to spend with me. Oh, you never help. You're so busy with what you're doing. You're so busy in growing your business. You're so busy in, in, in doing and growing you that you don't have time for people like us because they never want to come up to your level. They always want you to come down to their level. They never respect the fact that you want to grow yourself. They always look at it like a if, oh, I know misery love company and if he, they grow, they're going to run away from me and I won't be able to hang with them anymore. So they want to keep you in that emotional prison. Don't let anyone keep you in their emotional prison. Identify when someone is trying to keep you in an emotional prison and know when to dust off your, 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 your shoes and walk and keep walking. You see? We all have dreams. We all have aspirations. And if each and every person are going to be an effective friend in each other's lives, we have to celebrate each other's aspirations. We have to celebrate each other's dreams. We have to be willing to cheer each other on. We have to be willing to encourage each other. We have to be willing to celebrate when, when, when each other's win and when each other wins. And we have to also be able, when they're down, to, to give them a word of encouragement encouragement up. We have to see the value in each and every single person in our inner circle and celebrate that. So they also have to see the value in us and celebrate us. You see, two relationships function when there are two parties giving. It's not a one side. It's not me getting all what I want or they getting all what they want. Each person has to realize that it takes two to make that relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a business partnership or whatever it is. So if you want to go out there and make good, healthy relationships, remember that you have to look at at it from both sides of the fence. You have to try and see things from their perspective. Yes, you may not want to go to school. Yeah, you may not want to have a degree, but don't knock them because they want to go to school or they want to get a degree or want to better themselves. Encourage them. Encourage them. You may not want to develop yourself and read, but then you also want to encourage them because what you'll find happening is that the law of attraction will take place. And what will happen is that you will will slowly meander out of their lives and the right people will always surround them. You see, you 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 are become a magnet for what you are becoming. So as you become success, success starts attracting to you. As you, you start developing yourself, people who develop themselves are going to start attracting to you. And don't be sad when people around you who don't want to do anything about their emotions, don't want to do anything about being better, starts leaving, it's fine. They have to leave for a season in order for you to grow. Because if they're there, you cannot grow. 
You see, if weeds are in a flower bed, the flowers can't grow. You see, a lot of times we try to, to encourage weeds to stay around us. No, you don't want weeds to stay around you. If those weeds want to go, you let them go because then you want to grow. You want to develop in the person that you're created to be. So don't let anyone hold you in their emotional prison. Realize that you are good enough. You can do it. You have seeds of greatness inside of you and you're fully capable of, the, of being all that you can be. And don't take nothing less from anyone around you. If they do not celebrate who you want to be, then they don't need to be around you. Have an awesome growth day. Thank you very much. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.